Hi everyone. Okay, we're back with another Gearblocks dev diary. This time I'm going to demo the new paint tool. This lets you apply colour to the parts in your constructions. Not all parts can be painted, only those made of a paintable material, and these can be identified by having the uh, colour icon in the top left corner of their preview images. There are now two tool modes in the game. The first one is the builder tool that lets you uh, put parts together and pick them up and so on. Um, and the second one is the new painter tool. You can select between these tools by using the number keys. So 2 selects the painter tool and 1 selects the builder tool. You can also switch between the tools by holding down Q to bring up the uh, tool menu and then using the mouse to switch between the tools like that. So let's uh, select a painter tool and uh, go and paint some parts. To do this we just highlight them and hold down the left mouse button and apply colour like that. If you want to remove the paint from parts and just put them back to being unpainted again you just hold down uh, left shift and then left click as you uh, um, highlight the parts. So again yeah, you can apply colour and then remove it like that. Now if we hold down Q while we're in the painter mode we bring up this new menu here and this lets you choose the colour to paint with. So you can choose either by moving the red, green and blue sliders around or using um, hue saturation and value sliders. And you can also pick um, the hue and the saturation and value using these uh, sliders over here. Also in the painter menu there's a color palette and this lets you choose from a, a selection of predefined colors and uh, it also lets you, uh, once you've made your own color choice, for example, you've picked, say, a color like this, you can then add this color to the palette. You just uh, click the plus button here and then just pick an entry that you want to substitute. So we'll put the color there and then we can pick, say, another one and go and add it to our palette and do whatever we like, really. So you can come up with your own selection of custom colors. And then if you want to get rid of those and go back to the original selection, you just press the reset button here and that just puts you back to the default um, selection of colors. Now note that in the demo, the these sliders are locked and you only have the choice of picking from the palette here. Um, in the full game, everything's completely unlocked and you can choose whatever color you like. But even with just these palette choices, there's quite a good selection of colors uh, to go by. Now say we choose a bunch of colors and we paint things all different colors or whatever and then we decide uh, what color was this again I want to paint some other parts the same color well the way you can do that is if you just hover over a part and right click it will sample that paint color a bit like a kind of paint program eyedropper tool and substitute it back in as the current color to paint with and then you can go and apply that to the other parts just to make things a bit easier Okay, well that's it. Thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you next time.